My headphone has just been delivered and this is how I used to hang it. So as you can see, I just recently bought this headphone which is Samsung SR850. And I've searched Thingiverse for a suitable headphone holder for this, but to no avail, there's none. Because as you can see, the strap is too wide for those models that I can see in Thingiverse. So if you cannot find something that will suit this headphone, we will create one. And that is about this video for the day. So we need to open Fusion 360. And right away we will start sketching from the top view. We will start sketching lines. You can follow along as you you're watching on this video So our sketch is done and the next thing we need to do is to extrude this into 40 millimeter. Then we need to fillet these two sides of this model. This will be curved for the straps not to be damaged. We will fillet this at about 8mm and I don't like most of the edges of this model to be sharp so we need to fillet those edges also so you can see here all the things that I'm doing. Then the next thing we need to do is to sketch a square here and then extrude this later on. This will be used to uh, coil in those uh, cords that comes with the headphone. This square sketch that I'm making now is not so much of a detail. This will just be used to make a notch on this um, cord hung apart. Our model is almost done. And the next thing we need to do is to make a hole on this on this uh, lower part of the model. This will be used to screw in later on on the table. We just need to center this a bit, and the size of this hole is 20 millimeter.
And then after that, we need to make a thread out of this hole. And then since we made a thread there, we need to do a bolt for us to tighten this on our table later on. We will make the radius of the bolt head a little bit bigger at 13 millimeter in the in radius. And then we need to extrude this at around 10 millimeter. And then on top of that, we need to sketch on the circle that is uh, 20 millimeter in diameter. Then we need to extrude this at about 20 millimeters. And then after that, of course, we need to make a thread on this bolt. And our model is done and the next thing that we need to do is to save this and we'll name this headphone holder body because later on we will save another file because I want this to be printed in separate separate files. Here we're saving into a different file and we'll call this headphone bolt. And of course before we can print this in our 3D printer, we need to export this too into an STL file. Once it's done, we just need to open this in Cura and do some settings before we can plug it in our, to our 3D printer and start printing. And after 6 hours and 35 minutes, this is our finished product, fresh from the 3D print bed. And even though it's at uh, 0.28mm print settings, it comes quite nice. And now what's left? For us to do is to install this at the side of our table. So we need to bolt this in and clip it at the side of the table. This headphone holder can fit until 40 millimeter of table thickness and then you can see here how 
you will use the chord organizer that we have done a while ago so that's it for me for this week guys if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to be notified every time i upload new videos and of course if you have questions or you need any help or you have any suggestions or comments don't be shy to ask in the comment section below see you guys next week as always keep creating cheers